Great Sunday evening. Hope you had a great two 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 zero two zero worshiping the Lord. We are in Psalms eighty nine, and before really getting into that, verse eighteen really spoke to me. For the Lord is our defense. We're hearing, like I said, that there's an increase of the people who are being exposed, and so many international issues, and a lot of people's heart can really start get filled with anxiety and stress. One thing the Lord told me to do is to share my testimony from two years ago. I used to go on the Daniel fast periodically, especially during the beginning of the year when we would do our church denials. For those who are not familiar, Daniel fast is based on the first chapter of Daniel, verse 12, where Daniel said, "Uh, uh-uh, I refuse to eat the king's royal party food instead of the, the barbecue chicken and the french fries and what you're serving on that plate, that platter. Just give me water, pulse, right? Which is interpreted as like vegetables, veggie plates, the fruit, you know, whatever is natural that comes from the ground. Give me that. And then it says in verse 17, um, after he said, you know, prove that if I will not be, you know, stronger and healthier in 10 days. And as a result, the Lord heard his prayer. And it says that Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego uh, were stronger. They were wiser. They had all knowledge and skill and all types of learning and wisdom. And boy, is that needed right now. Well, anyway, when I would, when I would finish the Daniel's fast and go back to regular food, I'd be like, oh, man, there's a letdown. I was like, I, I could have gone a long time. Well, the last time I went in 2018, the Lord said, just continue, continue. And I haven't had any of the animal since then and not planning to go back. So I guess you could call that I'm a happy, holy vegan plant-based, but it's not because of the fad everybody's doing it. It's because I believe that uh, that to present your body as a living sacrifice is our highest call. Whatever you're, you're offering the Lord, maybe it's pop, maybe it's french fries, what have you. But I believe also physiologically, just biologically, I believe that animals experience dread and fear when they know they're about to be slaughtered, their hormones, are, you know, swell up and they pass that inflammation on when we eat the animals, right? I just believe that humans sometimes take on inadvertently some of the emotions that cows have faced or pigs, you know, they know they're about to, the chicken, especially chickens. Oh my goodness, their head cut off. Lord have mercy. Anyway, what am I saying? I, I'm just challenging some in the body of Christ, maybe to try it for a, a week. And it might take more time for the toxins to leave the body. But I believe that we would be able to experience the fullness of joy, not only because of the Lord gives us spiritually in our soul, but even in our body, in our temple. And in Psalms 89, it says, verse 15, blessed is the people that know the joyful sound, the joyful presence. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. More than ever before, it is really going to be important for us to secure our joy, our confidence, our strength, our clarity for what's coming ahead. You know, people are predicting gloom, doom. I'm not, but I'm just saying, be equipped, body of Christ, because this is the second day of the month, we go to the second chapter of Proverbs, and I share this with the young adults and the teenagers in Sunday school today. Put this in their heart. Verse 10, when wisdom enters into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee from evil. So this is what we need to be spending our time in the word, digesting the wisdom of the Lord for whatever day it is, the Proverbs, read that, start with that. You know, if you can't do a day and night, but meditate on the word, have your prayer time. This is really important that we really have a spirit of discernment and clarity and be able to discern the Lord's voice for such a time as this. Okay. And continue enjoying your evening as you prepare for a new work week, but know God has 
great things for all of his people as we present our bodies as living sacrifices. Good night.